What's up guys? So today I thought we could take this show on the road and go get some comics. I have talked about comics in the past on this channel a little bit. I've also talked about mangas, but I've definitely shared my loves for comics. And if you follow me on Twitter, then you know I've shared a bit of my collection on there. But I thought it was time to take a journey together and uh, start a comic series together. So I'm going to take you guys with me to Midtown Comics to pick up a few first issues. So let's get to it. So as we're walking up to Midtown Comics, I'm trying to be pretty low key about how I'm recording just so I can respect people's privacy. I know sometimes people kind of have an issue being on camera, so I'm trying to do it as low key as possible. Also, I don't know what kind of rules they have for recording in here. So just so there's not an issue and I don't kick, get kicked out, I'm just trying to keep it super low key. Um, I mostly try to get comic books either from comic shows or mom and pop shops, but the last mom and pop shop I knew about in the city closed, so I am not really sure where there are any anymore. If you guys know of any mom and pop comic book shops in the city, please leave them in the comments below. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what the store looks like. They have this long wall of comics and these are everything that have been released this week, last week, and the week before. So all of the things that are relatively new. And then on this other side they have figures and books and pops and little knickknack and toys, you know comic stores aren't surviving as long as they used to without these kind of things because I feel like a lot of people do their comic shopping either online these days or they go to conventions and right now there aren't really too many conventions going on so they're probably racking in with that right now. As you go to the second floor they have more figures, more toys, more pops but this is also where they keep their backlogs. So they were super helpful in getting me backlogs of comics that I had missed out on that I had just not been able to make time to come in the store and get. They also had Gundams up here, which was a little bit surprising. I've only been to this uh, store a handful of times, and the last few times I've been to the store, I didn't see any Gundams. They also have merch, shirts, book bags, lanyards, all that fun stuff. And as you can see, here are some of the backlogs. So they have the backlog on the front side and the back side. They have more figures and pops on the side, and they even had some nice posters. As I go around more and more, the store gets a little bit more empty, and that's a little bit good so I can actually give you guys a full overview of everything and not having to worry about too much of getting other people in the frames. Now, I've been here a few times, and I do remember there being a statue on the second landing here. I wonder why it's not there anymore. But I guess maybe to be out of the way a little bit more makes sense. Here's just another overview of the store. As you can see, there's lots of space so that you can have social distancing in the store, which is a plus. And here are a few comics that I picked up. Just going to give a quick overview of everything again. Now that there's less people here. It's a nice view of everything. I really love how they have it spaced out this way so that you can like look for your comics and not be two in the way of everybody. They have um, books on the shelves and this nice little setup here. They also have uh, the long boxes here, which is super helpful. I was able to grab some of that as well as some sleeves for my comics to keep them nice and protected. And then we passed this in the beginning of the video, but you couldn't see it too well. This is basically the front of the store where they have the register. They have some Midtown comic merch you know, repping their own store. As well as this nice manga section where you can grab some mangas and some anime merch, which is super awesome. Right next to the register, they have some nice pins and magnets and little add-ons. over here in the glass they had a 
variety of cards, pins, and like rings. Unfortunately, I've been looking for a Naruto headband for what feels like the longest time. They did not have that there, so. So we just finished at Midtown Comics. I was able to pick up a long and this bag full of comic books and we'll be going through them and everything once I get home. But yeah, I didn't want to like talk like this in Midtown Comics because I don't know what kind of like rules they have for filming and everything. So to be super respectful, I just filmed the way I did and now I'm talking like this. But let's go through the comics. So see you guys when I get back home. So I'm finally back home. I picked up a few comics and I'm gonna show you guys. I want us to take this journey together so I got a lot of the first issues of these comics and you can let me know when I show you all the comics which ones you guys would be interested in reading together and kind of reviewing on the channel by commenting below. You can also give me suggestions in the comments below of comics you don't see here that you'd like to read together. I personally have one out of a few that I would like to, uh, to read with you guys and take that journey with. but. If you guys want to read something else, we can probably do the two or see how it goes. So the first one being Stealth. And I really like the cover of this. This is by Image Skybound. Now when I pick out covers, I don't really have a preference. I just pick out whatever cover draws me in. So sometimes I get alternate covers if I find them to be more appealing to me than the original covers. Uh, the next one is an image as well and it's called decorum and then the next few are marvel books because marvel's awesome the first one is rescue 2020 and then it is star wars bounty hunters and now this is iron man 2020 but they only had uh three so i need to get two and one off of the website most likely or maybe try another image comics but yeah they only had three and the next is strange academy i really loved this cover because they highlight so many characters on the front of it and you get to have a real good idea of the people you'll be introduced to in this comic uh the next one is cable And then these two are comics based off of a Netflix original series called Resco. Resco. Um, this is called Agresco, and it's by Oni Press or Oni Press. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I absolutely love the Netflix original series. When it came out on Netflix, I binged the entire thing because I thought I would love the comics as well. Right now, there's only one and two out, and the third one comes out in April. So I'll be able to follow this through. Um, personally, I'd like to read the Iron Man comics with you guys because Iron Man is one of my favorite superheroes of all time. But I also wouldn't mind doing the Resco comics as well because I love the Netflix series and I'm hoping I'll love the comics as well. But again, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. So I just wanted to provide you guys with a better overview of the comic covers. I didn't feel like it did the best at showing them when I was going over them in the other part of the video. So just so you guys can have a better idea and a better view of all the covers, I wanted to kind of just give them their own little spotlight as well as asking you guys to let me know in the comments below which is your favorite cover. I personally um, really enjoy the Iron Man cover just because it does a really good job of highlighting not only Iron Man but also who he is under the Iron Man suit. It's definitely one of my personal favorites and definitely one of the comics I would enjoy starting with you guys as well as Strange Academy. This is also another cover I really enjoyed because it really highlights all the characters on the book. Uh, also, I'm not showing all of the comics I picked up. Some of these that I picked up in Midtown Comics, I had already started the series and I just wanted to highlight the covers and the books that I was going to be going over with you guys and making our own separate little comic series where we can kind of read and go through the books together if there's a specific comment you guys want to read or go over on this channel if you have suggestions leave all of that in the comments as well as letting me know 
if you want comics on this channel and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and until next time peace out FOMO fam